got a 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. I'm going to show you how to locate and pull out your cabin filter. It's going to be behind your glove box. We're going to need to remove this door. First step is going to be to disconnect this damper that you have here. All you got to do is pull on it. All right. And it'll disconnect. Then you're going to have to push your glove box in and get the glove box door around this right here. This is actually a stopper for your glove box. You're going to do this on both sides. You're going to push it in, push it in on this side here. I'm actually going to kind of pull this one. Okay. Once you do that, the glove box will come down and you can actually remove it once it comes all the way down. Alright, so your cabin air filter is located in there. It says filter access door. But the access door right now, it's got some bolts. These are 5.5 millimeter. You're going to need to remove those. So just go get yourself a socket set. And pull these guys right out. Alright, so I got these bolts loose. I'm just going to take them right off. One right over here. Now the door, you can just push down on this tab that you have right here. Cool the door, and the door's gonna swing up. It's not gonna come off. There's your cabin filter. Okay, note that on this filter it says airflow down. So when you get your new filter, you're gonna wanna do the same thing where it says airflow, okay? And if you need a new filter, there'll be a link down in the description box for new filters. So this one here, we're gonna check this one out. It's super clean. Car has very, very low miles, so I'm not replacing it today. When you get your new one, just go ahead and just stick it back in there. And again, just note where it says airflow. And you can choose to replace the bolts or leave them out. It's kind of up to you. It does have, you know, a little locking system here. So you don't actually need the bolts, okay? And just uh, replace it in reverse order. Go ahead and just, you know, get your glove box door. Put it back on the hinges that you have here. They just go right on like that. Nothing special. Just go ahead and just close the glove box like that. And it'll hold itself back up. The damper right here, it just pushes right back on. Alright, and then, boom, you're done. Video was helpful. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, really do appreciate it.